It is summertime, and that means we've got kids at home, and we've got to find some things for them to do. Today, I want to tell you 10 of my favorite summertime activities for kids in the garden. I started my garden way back when my kids were tiny. I had preschoolers and babies, and it's been incredible to grow my garden through the years with my kids as they've grown up. Now they're teenagers and things have completely changed, but I wanna bring you back to the days when my kids were younger and show you 10 different projects you could do with your own kids this summer, if they're tiny, if they're toddlers, even if they're teenagers. If we haven't met yet, my name is Nicole Burke. I'm the founder and owner of Gardeneri Incorporated, and we're on a mission at Gardeneri to make gardening ordinary, and who better to start with than kids? In fact, kids, I think, are the world's best gardeners. They have no fear, no shame, and no one has yet told them that they don't have a green thumb. So it is the perfect age to start the world off as gardeners, and uh, this summer is the best time to make it happen. I am so thankful. I've made a million mistakes as a parent, but the one thing I did right is I started a garden when my kids were small. And so if you're watching this and you've got kids or grandkids or you know someone who's got kids, you gotta tell them to watch this episode and start a garden with their kids this summer. So the very first project that is so easy and so fun to do with kids is to grow beans. Beans are one of the plants that grow so easily from seed and so quickly. And they're a very fast, uh, growing plants so they're going to give your kids exactly what they need which is immediate gratification right because we've all if you've got kids or you've been around kids or if you've been a kid before you know uh, that we want to have what we want right away and beans are going to make that happen project number two is to grow some sunflowers sunflowers grow so easily from seed you want to make sure that you've got a nice place where you can kind of dig in and prep the soil for those sunflowers make sure you're on level ground so growing those with kids is so fun to watch take a picture every week with your kid alongside the sunflower as it grows and uh, by the end of the summer you're going to have this eight ten foot tall sunflower and your tiny little kid underneath it's kind of amazing and precious and i wish i had a better camera for when that was happening for me. Project number three is to create a toad habitat. You can create a toad home. So essentially you could do a little natural sunk pond. Uh, you can get something as simple as a bucket, but if you could also get one of those nice little pond fillers, dig in the ground a little bit and you literally just set the structure right there in the soil fill it up with some water, add some rocks, you can add some water plants, and you've just created a little habitat so that toads will want to live near your garden. They're gonna lay their eggs, grow tadpoles in that water, and then they are going to uh, multiply and make more toads. Project number four is to grow potatoes. If it's too hot where you live to grow potatoes this summer, grow some sweet potatoes. Potatoes and sweet potatoes can both grow just straight in the ground. You don't need a raised bed. You don't need a container. These plants are so forgiving and it's really amazing to dig potatoes or sweet potatoes at the end of the summer with your kid. For a potato, you're just gonna get like a bush above the ground. For a sweet potato, it's gonna vine and go everywhere. And the cool thing is those sweet potato leaves are edible. So you can just let your kid add it. They can go out, play with those sweet potato vines and you know, have themselves some lunch too. Project number five is to keep a garden journal. At the start of the summer, go to the store and get maybe some composition books or just some little cheap journals from Target or Walmart or somewhere in the dollar aisle and then bring it home and let your kids uh, put their art skills to the test by putting a big cover, making home making a cover on that journal and making it their own garden journal. And then have them every day head out to the garden and just journal out what's happening. Just write down the date and write down the things that are going on outside in the journal. Um, depending on what age your kid is, what their abilities are, what their interests are, they could draw things from the garden. They could sketch them out. If you've got a teenager or a preteen, I mean, you could absolutely give them like some better uh, quality tools. You could give them some charcoals or some nice 
um, ink pens. And at the end of the season, you're going to have the most amazing document that shows the progress of the garden and all the things that happen. Project number six is to grow melons. We also did this in our second summer with my kids. I wrote about this in my book, Leaves, Roots, and Fruit. It wasn't successful, all right? Hear me out. It didn't work. Um, but we had a lot of fun trying. So growing melons, whether it's honeydew or cantaloupe or watermelon, is a super fun project for kids. It is going to take some time and attention on their part, especially the watering. Uh, but you can do it simply by using a big grow bag. You could uh, grow it outside of your raised bed, or you can create a mound in the soil and actually grow the melons just right there in the ground, even if you don't have a formal garden set up yet. And then you're gonna have your kid watch and take care of that seed. So their job is to water it daily for the first two weeks to make sure it gets established. And then as it starts to grow, to take care of it. So to prune away any damaged leaves, to make sure that the vines don't get run over by the lawnmower, that may or may not have happened to us, and to nurture the plant until you start to see fruit. Project number seven is to create a pollinator habitat. So you can do this by pulling together a lot of different nesting materials that are perfect for all kinds of bees and butterflies. I've built habitats with all different kinds of materials. I've done them with little bamboo sticks. We've bought bamboo sticks together with my kids and then we cut them all up you know, force them all into little bitty spaces. We have used things like pine cones and other natural materials to kind of group them together to create somewhat of a hiding place, a nesting place for pollinators. If your kids are anything like mine, they are gonna love this next project and that is creating a smoothie garden. My kids love smoothies. They particularly love fruit smoothies. So berries and um, bananas, and they're all into that acai thing too. Uh, but I like to put some vegetables in those smoothies as well. And then my teenage girls, they're definitely getting more into like juices and cleanses and, you know, things like that. So a really fun project to do would be to plant up a smoothie or a juice garden and then actually have your kids use it. There's so many opportunities and options for growing a juice or a smoothie garden. So do your research, maybe test out some juices at the beginning of the summer. You could go to a juice bar, go to like a Whole Foods or something and let your child try a few fresh juices and then they could choose, okay, this is my favorite, this is the most delicious one. And then you guys could plan out your juice garden together, grow it, and by the end of the summer, be making your own delicious garden juice and smoothies. The next project that is so fun to do with kids is making a bird bath. Now, in the middle of summer, things are heating up and also drying up. And this is a critical time for a lot of our native and local birds to find water so you can provide for them right in your garden space. So your child's job every day could be to head out, find your little bird baths throughout the garden and clean out the water, make sure the water is clear and clean and give the birds a way to come and get a drink all throughout the summer. So if you want a chance to watch birds and for your kids to get to experience nature more in your space, creating a bird bath is a magical way to do it. Finally, you could give your kids at least one meal a week where they are in charge of cooking. And the challenge can be that they've got to find things from the garden to turn into dinner. This is a great way to connect your kids to the way that food is made and also to give yourself a serious break from the kitchen. And who doesn't need that, especially in the middle of summer when the kids are there for three meals a day? I mean, could they just go find their own food or something. I don't know. Doing this is going to be such a fun experiment. It is going to be a mess though. So prepare yourself. So those are my 10 summer garden projects. Some of these projects are going to be perfect for a toddler. And some of these projects are going to be great for a teen. The name of the game is getting outside with your kids this summer and making the most of every moment that we have. These seasons go faster than we anticipate. So find some ways to make your own bucket list. Hopefully you'll take a few of these 10 summer projects and uh, get out there and make some magical moments and memories with your kids before summer ends.
Thanks so much for listening to the Gardenary podcast, the Grow Yourself podcast. We're all about growing ourselves to the next level and making the garden ordinary. If you want to get a calendar for free to know when to plant all the things we talked about today and many more, you can get that for free at Gardenary.com slash calendar. And we've got loads of resources waiting for you at Gardenary.com. Just head over there, head to our blog and start reading. We're here to support you all along the way, all summer long and for many seasons to come. So I hope you'll keep listening. Share this podcast with one of your friends who's got kids. Challenge them maybe to come over and do these projects with you. Whatever you do, don't let this summer pass by without getting out, digging in the dirt, and making the most of these moments with your precious children. I'll see you next time.